the topic of today is the natty spectrum. Um, just to explain a little bit about this, you've probably seen controversy over the years with lots of people when they maybe criticize an athlete or a bodybuilder or a, a celebrity, someone when they suspect that they're uh, using steroids or doing something that's not natural. But I just want to share before we get so quick to uh, point fingers and, and uh, jump into that, I just want to share um, some insights I've had over the years about this. It's not so simple as someone is either natural or they're not. There's a whole spectrum there and I want to talk a little bit about that now. Maybe some women might relate more to these first examples. But let's just talk about uh, someone that's natural. Okay, so category number one, super basic, uh, but if you cut your hair, if you style your hair, if you wax, anything like that, obviously that's not natural. If we were natural, you'd look like a caveman, right? You'd just be unkept just the way nature intended. Okay, for the second category, I would call this aesthetics. This would be anything someone does to look better. This would include things like cosmetics, uh, dyeing your hair, getting hair extensions, uh, fake eyelashes, spray tan, orthodontal work, whitening your teeth, all those sort of things. Um, again, people can do what they want uh, to look better. I guess the only problem some people might have is if they feel someone's uh, being catfished too much, who's underneath all that. But again, that's a whole different topic. The third category would be minor procedures. This would include things like uh, chemical peels, injections, fillers, Botox, that sort of thing. Again, this is where it gets kind of the gray area. If you look at someone and say, oh, are they natural the way they look or not? A lot of people start to get more critical at this point. Again, I don't have any problem with this. All right, and then the fourth is a very obvious one. That's cosmetic surgery. This would include things like a tummy tuck, nose job, enhancements, uh, reductions, implants, the whole gamut of cosmetic surgery there. So um, again, this is one usually it's kind of obvious when someone has done that, the changes. I have no problem if someone wants to have cosmetic surgery to improve their looks, that's up to them. Uh, my only concern is sometimes you'll see uh, celebrities or other people that kind of get addicted to it, they just keep going. Um, and I've seen some of these sad ones where they look great before and you hardly recognize them after and they end up looking like a uh, Picasso painting. But again, that's their own business, their choice to make those decisions. All right, for the second half of this, I'd like to switch gears and go to uh, bodybuilding or athletics and talk about uh, people that might be using steroids or performance enhancing drugs. I've got a picture here of Mike O'Hearn, and Mike is the poster child for uh, people that claim to be natural, and he has got a lot of critics, people that don't believe it, that uh, make fun of him and give him a hard time about that. He looks amazing. He's, he's my age, he's 52, and he looks like he's in his 30s. Good looking guy. But I just am showing him because this is an example of someone that is under a lot of fire when it comes to making claims that they're all natural and uh, a lot of people don't believe it. I see a lot of critics uh, making comments online. Some of these people kind of have the, the sour grapes mentality. If anyone's more muscular or bigger than them, then it's like, oh, they're juicing. They're obviously uh, not natural. And then there's some other people that are just clueless and, you know, some guy that's just roided to the gills might say, oh, yeah, I'm natural and they'll believe it just because they don't understand. So there's definitely things to look for here. But let's talk a little bit about the scale here when it comes to being natural as an athlete or a bodybuilder. All right, so in this first category, we've got some substances people use. A uh, really common one is caffeine. A lot of people in the morning just can't get going without their coffee or their pre-workout when they go to the gym, which are usually loaded with caffeine. Uh, to be to get technical with this, caffeine is a drug, and if it helps you and motivates you and it gives you energy and uh, it's a performance enhancing drug if you look at it that way. Again, it's not a banned substance, but uh, a lot of people use it. There's things like uh, creatine, protein powders. Those are uh, naturally occurring substances. People just supplement them to get more. Same with their micronutrients. They might take uh, supplements, uh, maybe a fat burner, things like that. Most people, that's not a big deal. Um, but again, technically, that's not natural either if you're using those sort of things. All right, the second area, and this is where it starts to come into a little bit of a gray area, would be hormone replacement therapy. This is an industry that has just been booming over the last 10 years, has really grown, become a lot more popular. You'll see uh, men and women over their you know, 40s as they start to age. You know, for instance, women might have estrogen or progesterone prescribed to them by physician or men, um, uh, testosterone. And usually this is, is legit, you know, they do blood tests, they see your levels, how you are. But I'm sure there's lots of anti-aging uh, clinics and doctors out there that would just prescribe it for anyone. So again, that's, uh, that's where it gets kind of hazy. Okay, the third one is very obvious. This is just outright using performance enhancing drugs, uh, steroids. So this could be uh, DECA, Anavar, Tren, um, human growth hormone, uh, diuretics. It could be, you know, doping. There's all kinds of things that could be included here. Um, falsifying, you know, your blood test if it's sports, that sort of thing. So again, you got this range here. 
And people are always quick to say, oh, this person's on the juice, or they're not natural. But again, remember, there's just varying degrees of this with everyone. So with this third category, um, these are the ones that usually get the fingers pointed at them and are accused of uh, not being natural. If someone chooses to use some of those more extreme methods, that's up to them. Um, I'm not going to judge them on that unless there's one of three criteria being met here. The first one is if they're denying that and they're saying, I'm just this way naturally, I just work harder than you, I'm just more committed than you. It ticks me off when I see people uh, going that approach when they don't admit it and it's obvious when they're saying uh, they, they're just able to achieve that because they work harder than everyone else. So that's, that's one area. The second part of this that bothers me is when someone's either promoting a workout plan or a supplement or a particular diet and they're saying, look at me, I got this body from doing this when they aren't even bringing into the equation um, these performance enhancing drugs that made it is a huge contribution to how they look. So I think that's a very dishonest and that's, that bothers me also. And then the third one obviously would just be in sports. You've seen this in uh, MMA, track and field, NFL, the Olympics, when athletes have had a ban or been suspended or disqualified uh, for using performance enhancing drugs. Here it's pretty cut and dry though. These people know what they can and can't do. There's a set of rules. And so when you don't adhere to those rules, it's considered cheating. Now there are a lot of organizations that are not too picky on this. They kind of look the other way. You know, it's bad for business if they kicked everyone out that was using uh, PEDs. Uh, they wouldn't get the look they want. Also, some of the testing is very arbitrary and random and not very accurate. And there's ways to get around that, which is a big problem. And that's the topic for another video. So in summary, I just want to remind you, uh, before you point the finger at someone accusing them of uh, being on steroids or not being natural, we gotta look at our own lives and see where we fall on the spectrum. I'm sure a lot of us are doing many of these things that aren't natural or we look like a caveman. So just keep that in mind. Speaking of steroids, I have one short clip I want to show you. It's one minute. It's from Saturday Night Live back in the 90s. This is a funny skit showing the uh, steroid Olympics, what it would look like if anything goes and you could take whatever you want. Um, I have a lot of problems with some of the things I try and share with copyright. So if it doesn't uh, post, if you don't see that, I'll just put it down. I'll admit I was a little nitpicky on this video with some of these things. But I just wanted to point out the fact that not everyone is as natural as they might think they are. And there is actually a spectrum there as to uh, where someone fits on there. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this. I've got some more fun videos coming up, so stay tuned. Uh, feel free to subscribe and like.